How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can change your IP address on the iPhone. Now, it's an incredibly simple process. Of course, there are some reasons why this may not be very, uh, let's say, useful, uh, or you may not have the, um, let's say, benefits of truly changing your IP address using a VPN. So I'm going to get into that in just a second. But if you're interested in any of these VPNs, uh, at any point, you'll find everything you need in the description down below, including discounts and full on reviews if you'd like to know the ins and outs of these VPNs. So uh, very simply, uh, there are a few ways you could actually change your IP address without touching your phone, you could call your ISP to ask them to just change your IP address, or you could perhaps just uh, turn off your router, wait about 10 minutes, and chances are your router will pick up a new IP address. Another way of changing it is, of course, by heading into your settings, uh, just go to your Wi-Fi, whatever network you're connected to, hit the information icon right here, and scroll a little bit down, hit renew lease, click on re renew lease again, and that's pretty much it. It'll, it'll refresh your phone's IP address. Another way you can do it, of course, is by turning this to manual and inputting your IP address manually, as you can see here, from automatic to manual. And you can just input your IP address manually. Now, the thing about this method is that if you're changing your IP address, let's say to um, perhaps unblock Netflix or unblock these geo restrictions or access content, let's say that's not available in your region, that method will not work because most websites will pick up on the fact they're using a proxy server or an IP address, and it really won't work. So at the end of the day, you're going to have to use a VPN. Now, luckily, if you'd like, you can actually get if you're looking for a VPN, let's say for your iPhone, you can actually get Express VPN and Surfshark for free on the iPhone and Android. So you do have a truly free seven day free trial, and you'll get the full benefits of these VPNs. So uh, definitely, you know, worth trying if you're trying to change your IP address, uh, changing it manually to a different IP address. Yeah, I, I don't see the um, I mean, unless you're trying to just cover your tracks because of some kind of activity you're doing. Uh, so you just want to change your IP address. Uh, all in all, that's not going to really secure your activity. What secures your activity is using a true VPN. And let's say you're changing your IP address again to change to let's say access Hulu, HBO Max or a Netflix library, that's not going to work unless you're using a reliable VPN. So these are the v VPNs that you want to use when it comes to, let's say, uh, being on public Wi-Fi. If you're on public Wi-Fi and you want to secure your data, of course, you don't want to, let's say, access financial data uh, or financial websites or your finance or your bank account while on public Wi-Fi, definitely use a VPN. So with the seven day free trial, you're getting the full ben benefits of these VPNs, both on Android and iPhone, not just iPhone. Uh, so ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark. Now, unfortunately, NordVPN does not have a free trial on the phone but Express and Surfshark do. And overall, if I had to kind of brief you very quickly about these three VPNs, if you're looking for the best security overall, uh, you've got the widest cover of regions, um, up to 94 regions with Express VPN and over 3000 servers, NordVPN covering recently, there were 59 countries, now it's 60 countries. Uh, with over 5,200 servers, and then Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 65 countries. Um, in terms of Netflix, let's say for reference, ExpressVPN is able to unblock over 18 libraries, of course, by virtue of having uh, or covering more regions than the other two. That'll be NordVPN will uh, cover over 10 Netflix libraries that'll be it'll be able to unblock over 10 and over 15 Netflix libraries with Surfshark. Uh, of course, make sure that uh, unblocking Netflix in your country is not illegal. I know it could be against the terms of service in uh, some countries. So be sure everything you're doing is uh, illegal. I don't condone, promote or endorse the use of the service for such purposes. So yeah, uh, now that that's out of the way, of course, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below as well as full on reviews. 
of course, that'll be the best way to change your IP address. But for the most part, you're not just looking to change your IP address, you're also looking to secure your connection, especially if you're on public Wi-Fi. Now, if you're looking for more information on these VPNs in terms of privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full-on in-depth reviews in the description down below as well. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.